two-time North American international champion, Stefan Ivanov. Stefan, very few people have the distinction of being a back-to-back -back international champion. What does that mean to you? It's amazing. To sit down with me and go through his last stream game so we can dissect it and see what we can learn. And trust me, there's a lot to be learned. And I have two reasons for you to stick around to the end of this video. First reason is you won't guess how this game ends. I'm also giving away this playmat and this box of Dragon Shields. Details on how to win at the end of the video. So I think this might be a turn where we see a rare candy into the brainwave, I think. We don't really yes. see that too often. What was the reasoning behind that? Uh, here, I have something like Pelpad, Research, Candy, Gardevoir, I think a Levelable still, um, Choice Belt, and for Crystal. Yeah, you can see the whole hand yeah. right here. Rare Candy, Gardevoir, Pelpad, Levelable, Research, Choice Belt for Crystal. So he's already taken two prizes, right? And I know he plays at uh, Pleasing Loads. Thank you very much. Um, so I know it's uh, it's possible for him to get uh, knockouts on a God of War EX. Like he would need um, Techno Blast and like three Core Tablets and the Gloves and obviously a Boss Orders. So it's not. Um, so if I play God of War EX, I need to make use of it right now because it's actually possible for him to knock it out. And I don't want it to get knocked out before I can really. Um, Use it effectively. Um, I think he still has his V-Star. I don't think he has used TVC, his V-Star power yet. Um, so, you know, that would also help him to get the knockout. And I've seen in game two or game one, I think, but uh, he can really. Uh, like, he, he knows. Um, he, I know he wants to keep the, the power tablets for the God of War threats. So, I know that's something he's keeping in mind as well. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is my hand. So, I could still keep drawing with cards. You know, I could uh, have a level ball. I could draw into Kelia as well. I could draw. Uh, I could just put a bunch of Kelias in play. But I think it's fun to have two Kelias. And I can just draw two more cards. And the thing is, I need to get more cards. And especially, I don't think I have any energy in this card. Or maybe like. No, I, I must have at least one because I used yeah. uh, concealed cards, but I don't have much. And I really need to get my energy out of the deck so I can start for getting knockouts with my Pokemon. So since I have Rare Candy in hand, uh, it makes sense here to evolve into a God of War and to be like, okay, I'm not going to attack this turn. I'm not going to get a God of War EX out this turn, but I can get one back. Uh, I, I'm just going to start attacking on the next turn. And so given my hand, it makes sense to play out the hand and use research to draw more cards and basically start accessing um, the rest of the day. Because just for the Sorry. viewers, I would imagine we need a lot of energies in the discard pile so we can use Zacian, I would imagine, right? For maximum effectiveness. Yeah, Zacian, but also Guard of War. Like Zacian, uh, is, I try to keep it in this matchup. I play only one. My list is more focused on um, Guard of War and I try to keep uh, Zacian for the end okay. and use God of War mainly before that. That's why I have the choice belt. It's mostly for God of War so it can hit oh, higher numbers. Yeah, yeah. Um, the idea is that he has, already, he has already taken two prizes, right? So Zacian could be like, it would be bad to trade with, with mm. Zacian. Um, I would rather use other attackers. And here I do something, yeah, I also know that my last process prize, so I use the level ball to grab Manafi, and I'm actually gonna bench it if I remember correctly. Um, the point of this is just that um, it's a new deck, so I assume he plays Echoing Horn. I'm not, I think I saw it in one of the previous games, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, you have to expect that. And I have a Luminion in the, in the discard, right? So if he goes uh, Echoing Horn, um, Boss Luminion, it's basically over for me. I cannot come back. So I really need to fill out my bench. So yeah, I'm gonna play the, the Manafi down. So this turn, basically, I know how to attack, and here's the key part. Uh, I have two ways to remove his stadium, right? I have Collapsed and Worker. Uh, the thing is that if I play Collapsed here, um, he can just remove one Genesect, and then it will free up space for him to play another Mew, and then he can just uh, Psychic Leap. Oh, you know, because see, it would be yeah. huge and Psychic Leap, he would have two Mews in play, so... Yeah, so I know that this hand, this turn, I have to plan ahead and I need to remove his um, Path to the Peak with Worker. That's the key part, is I need to use Worker this turn. And then I also, also because then, even if he uh, paths again and use Psychic Leap, I can bump, bump the Stadium with uh, Collapsed and play Boss Orders on the same turn. So, for these reasons, it's very it's imperative for me that I play Worker this turn. Um, I have a second card, of course, I'm trying to draw as much as possible. Unfortunately, I got, I think his judge hit a pretty bad hand. <laughs> like, I had a lot of dead cards, like VIP passes, SP on, something like this. Um, and now I have Research, um, and Zation, I think. 
But yeah, basically I have a lot of dead cards and I know that I have to play worker, I know that I cannot use um, research. I can draw, I could draw a bit more with Kyolia. Um, but yeah, I think at this point the play I go for is um, Zacian for a Steel Stone and get worker with for a Steel Stone. And the reason I do that now is that I could draw with Kyolia, but the thing is I still, as you can see on the bottom, I have only uh, 4 energy in a discard at this point. And as I said, I need 6 plus energy from the turn to attach. And I still need ways to discard this energy. Um, so I can, with, if I discard with Kyolia now, I'm going to have to discard uh, and use a useless card. I mean, something like, I don't know, an Espeon or whatever. Um, and if I do that, uh, then even if I draw into my energy um, after Worker, I don't know if I'm going to be able to discard them. Because I can discard mm -hmm. one with Greninja once the Path of the Pig is gone, but how am I going to discard the last one? I would need an Ultra Ball for that. And right now I don't have that, so I am I feel like, okay, I might need to actually keep both Kyolia and Greninja to each discard one Psychic Energy. So I need to play Worker first to try to draw into this, this energy, uh, because I already um, have the, a way to get Worker, right. and I'm going to need to play it. So yeah, that's what I go for. I attach a Forest Steel Stone to Zacian. Um, Betting Zacian here is not that risky, because I'm going to need it later anyway. And he cannot go for the knockout on Zacian, because again, uh, if I get a knockout this turn, um, he cannot ignore the, the God of War that's uh, in the active spot. So yeah, I play Walker. I should really have counted the energy left here. I think I just um, glim uh, glanced and was like, okay, have some, but I didn't realize that I had so many in my prizes, so <laughs> <laughs> that would have been um, pr pretty bad. Although, it doesn't really change much, but um, yeah. That said, I, I play four for Crystal, and I still have at least one in my deck right now, so um, I know that's, that's more out that I can grab. So yeah, Walker for free. I do get one energy, so... Now it's like, okay, you can draw one, I can discard fifth energy <laughs> with Granger. Okay. Obviously, you always discard with Granger before Kyolia. And I think the two cards I grab, there's no energy, but there's an Ultra Ball. So now I have the Ultra Ball, so now I'm like, okay, that's bad. But if I discard a useless card with Kyolia and I draw into two energy, I can still discard one of them with, um, with Ultra Ball and then um, attach the other one with um, manually. Um, I know I have... Um, I, otherwise, I would have used Ultra Ball first to fill my deck, but I know that I need to keep the Ultra Ball to discard Psychic Energy <laughs> here, so that's what I do. Uh, I'm thinking about I'm just like calculating if I'm not missing anything, but I'm pretty sure that this is the play I have to go for. There's no other way to do anything. My cards are mostly useless. Um, so yeah, I go for the, for the discard, and I think I draw like one for Crystal. And uh, I think you can see the disappointment in my yeah. hand. I'm like, well, yeah, well. I don't have it, I can discard the last one, but I cannot um, get anything. I can evolve, as you can see, um, I drew into the God of War EX, I don't know if I had it before that, although I did have the Ultra Ball, so I could grab it, but again, I couldn't grab the, I couldn't get the God of War EX before that, and, um, and yeah, I think at this point, like, basically that's <laughs> all I had to, to show, like, that's, that's all I did my best to try to, to get the knockout. Uh, I missed, I would play one energy. Um, obviously, maybe if I didn't have free energy prize, that would have gone a bit better, but yeah, not much I can do here. I don't know about you, but my brain is hurting from trying to digest all that information. So make sure you watch the video again, maybe take some notes or pop it in your friend's group chat so you can all get better at the Pokemon trading card game and hopefully win some more games. But onto the giveaway. So if you want to win this nice Coridon map and this box of Dragon Shields, all you got to do is like the video, subscribe and leave a comment saying what deck you are currently playing right now. And I'll select the winner in about two weeks. So shout out to Dragon Shield for sponsoring this video and Pokédex as well, link in the description. And if you want to see more tips and tricks videos on the Pokémon TCG, click that video there.